After a few months of marriage, Endless North Sea, Yu Yunshi blocked the person and said, I heard you've been telling people everywhere that I can't do it. Gu Ling Ran looked in front of him, like the former weak and unable to take care of her husband, she is like a big demon in a different world, silently took out the tape from the storage space and stuck his mouth. Later on, the great demon seeks revenge on the immortal realm, and its defeat is in imminent danger. Immortal Emperor Don't panic, the spirit fairy has already grown divine roots. As the last god in the six realms, she will definitely protect us. Gu Lingran said, Oh. Since heaven and earth are not benevolent, I will destroy this world and create a new one. Immortal realm. It's done. Everyone in the six realms. It's done. After being reborn, she married her former fiancé E.S. disabled younger brother, took him off, and flashed through the six realms. Keywords of the novel. The first weak position in the immortal world is not guaranteed without pop-ups, the first weak position in the immortal world is not guaranteed. Download the full text, and read the latest chapters on the first weak position in the immortal world. Chapter 1. Brain comes from all directions. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Brain comes from all directions, Master. A strange voice rang in his ear, but Gu Ling Ran couldn't open his eyes and only felt his body, spinning uncontrollably through countless different spaces. After an unknown amount of time, she finally felt the wind, the touch of the gentle breeze brushing against her face, so familiar yet as if so distant. She was just about to open her eyes when the wind suddenly intensified, getting stronger and stronger. Her body began to plummet at the speed of light, and the cold winter wind was as piercing as bone, causing pain in her face and bones even more. The unfamiliar voice appeared again, a cute girl's voice, firm but weak. Master, we're here. Gu Ling Ran was very confused, who was speaking and what kind of nerve talk she was doing. After trying to open a gap in the strong wind, Gu Ling Ran was surprised to find that there was no one around her, only a golden long sword that appeared inexplicably at some point, flying beside her. Gu Ling Ran instantly raised a subway elderly man's face as he looked at his phone, staring at the long sword and saying, Was that you who just spoke? This is. Halfway through, she paused. Definitely nodded, how could a sword speak? At this point, a faint red light flashed on the golden long sword, and then the sword spoke in an even weaker voice. Master, this is the era of immortality 70,000 years ago. It's really it. It's outrageous and so real. Wait. Gu Lingren's expression froze. 70,000 years ago. The age of immortal law. Dizziness, headache in the skull, feeling nauseous I was just on my way out of the post-apocalyptic hoarding class when I saw a Hadron Collider on sale at an unmanned technology supermarket, wanting to own one. Then, okay, she remembered that the Hadron Collider just after settling the bill. Exploded. M. Gu Lingren's mouth twitched slightly, crossing in this way that she never dreamed of. You say it's a defective product, it can really travel through time. You say it's a genuine product, whose collider exploded directly through time travel. Gu Ling Ran sighed and said, it's just that. A 0.1% discount and a sword as a gift. What kind of bicycle do you want? But how do we go back? Let's talk about it, Jian. What do I need to do? Gu Ling Ran asked as he looked at the golden long sword and thought it was a system Dao. Collecting cards, points, or collecting fragments. After speaking, Gu Ling Ran pouted and shook her head disdainfully. She knew all of this. Although I haven't worn it myself, I haven't eaten pork and haven't seen pigs run, have I? From time to time, she silently recited in her heart. The brain comes from the brain, the brain comes from all directions. The Klitsch A.S. of the novels I read on weekdays immediately flooded my mind. My master just needs to live well and leave everything else to me. In the past, I didn't protect my master well, but in the days to come, I will definitely do my best to protect him. 
The long sword paused and asked tentatively, Master. Really don't remember anything. Gu Lingran was puzzled, what should I remember? I remember you were an orphan of the god of war, I remember who took you to the god-slaying cave, and who gave you that deadly sword. After a moment of silence, Long Sword added, Also, my name is Qi Ling, not A Jian. War God Orphans, God-slaying Caves Gu Ling Ran closed her eyes, and her original memories began to emerge in her mind. The sharp sword pierced her heart from behind, blood-staining her white clothes, like a blooming mandala. The war god's orphan spirit is a fairy, the last ancient bloodline in the immortal and divine realms, and has fallen. The rustling wind blows, and the mandalas wither. All forms of gods are destroyed, ashes fly and smoke disappear. Memory is incomplete, Gu Ling Ran didn't see who killed her, only saw from the shadow that there was more than one person standing behind her at the time. As an orphan of the god of war, the original body has no spiritual roots since birth and cannot cultivate, with extremely low magical power. But she is humble and kind, considerate and gentle towards others, and has a memorable ability. Since childhood, she has been cherished by the emperor and empress, and has made a marriage agreement with the crown prince of the immortal world. Gu Ling Ran was deeply lost in thought as she dared to kill the future imperial concubine. It seems that this journey was not accidental. Perhaps the original body had chosen him before his death. Only by finding the murderer to help the original body hold this grudge can he return to his own world. While pondering, the faint sound of the long sword rang out again. We're about to land, master. Get ready. The red spirit's spiritual power has been depleted too much, so we need to close down for a while. The weak long sword, after speaking this sentence, completely lost its radiance. Gu Ling ran. Dot. What's so accurate about landing on the ground bang? End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Focuses on sincerity and becoming a brand new and all.purpose pure love god of war. You are listening at Novel Full.audio. Chapter 2 focuses on sincerity and becoming a brand new and all.purpose pure love god of war immortal realm, earlier in the month. A loud noise startled the soul out of the previously silent courtyard. The boy on the immortal chair was dressed in a plain fairy robe, with a cold and indifferent expression. The wrists on either side of the immortal chair were so fair that there was no trace of blood, showing the weakness of the demon. The hair-tied fairy attendant standing beside him without hesitation pulled out his sword and protected him. In front of the two, just now, a celestial object that was too fast for them to see clearly smashed a huge hole in the yard. In the pit, there lay a girl in red, motionless. This is, Ling Ran Fairy. The fairy attendant was shocked and said, Xian Jun. Ling Ran Fairy, who has been missing for three months, has now died in our hospital. What should we do? The young man glanced into the pit, slightly raised the corner of his mouth, and calmly said, The man is buried, the sword remains. The immortal attendant was surprised again and also noticed the long sword beside the Ling Ran fairy. From time to time, the immortal attendant looked solemn and said, It's actually the red feather sword. Who would have thought that the spirit fairy, who is even more useless than the immortal lord in the immortal world, would have found the ancient divine sword Red Feather Sword, which is invincible and can kill gods, demons, and the heavens and the earth. Young Immortal Lord. Dot. Politeness. Are you a fairy? Without waiting for the young man to speak, the fairy attendant became alert and quickly changed the topic. I'll go down and fetch the sword for the immortal lord, but will burying the corpse be too much? The immortal attendant paused, destroy the feng shui in our courtyard on the moon. No problem, the young man responded calmly. With me around, when will the feng shui in our hospital be better? Upon hearing this, the immortal attendant nodded silently. That's right, too, the main focus is on being beautiful, weak, and miserable. At this moment, the girl in the pit opened her eyes and stumbled up beside her, cursing sternly, I just fell. Who died and who should be buried? 
I am the orphan of the God of War, the future God of War. Dare to bury me. Do you want to break your leg or arm? As soon as these words were spoken, the immortal attendant was stunned for a moment. He turned his head in disbelief and looked at the young man in plain clothes, chatting and saying, Immortal Lord, Lingran Fairy is still alive, but... But it seems different from the previous Lingran Fairy. The previous Lingran Fairy was gentle and humble, but now the Lingran Fairy is both talented and hardworking. The young man appeared very calm, with his weak wrist supporting half of his head and many secrets hidden in his eyes. There seemed to be a glimmer of survival in that secret, which filled him with joy. However, this joy was not much, like a faint and illusory firefly in the icy cold. Lingran Fairy, don't blame me. It was just a servant's idea. How could I let him act so recklessly? The young man coughed lightly under his chin and continued, I'll have him bring you up now and apologize to you. Fairy attendant. Dot. After all, I have borne everything alone. No need, I can come up by myself. Gu Lingran stood up straight and looked up at the person by the pit with unfriendly eyes. The frail pure clothed immortal lord was born in awe of heaven and humanity. She only glanced and almost couldn't move her eyes. On the cold and white skin, the finely crafted jawline is carved with sharp edges like a knife. Under the dense eyelashes, there were a pair of cold, proud, and lonely eyes, as clear as icy obsidian. The cold and thin lips are also very attractive. In memory, this face belongs to the second prince of the immortal realm, Yinshi Immortal Lord Yu Yinshi. He should have been the most dazzling star in the immortal world, but unfortunately, his fate is not good. I have been physically weak since childhood and have been disabled for life due to accidents. I rely on immortal chairs for activities all year round, and am excluded and not favored by my father, even being neglected. This kind of person really makes people think Gu Ling Ran couldn't help but feel pity as she touched her waist, the storage space brought over from the end of the world, and thought to herself, take it into your pocket. Then, collect all those beautiful immortals together. Don't ask why, asking is about sincerity. Since we are the orphans of the God of War, let's be a pure and devoted God of War and strive to give every unparalleled and beautiful immortal a home. Isn't that excessive? The fairy has been staring at me all this time, but my disabled body has made the fairy's voice annoyed. With a face like unparalleled voice, with a hint of softness and inability to take care of herself, she slowly spoke, Sorry, I will disappear from the fairy's eyes now, cough cough, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 When does the immortal intend to take action? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 Then I snatched her sword. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4. Then I snatched her sword. Yu Yunshi put away a faint smile from the corner of his mouth and said with a stern expression, The winter solstice has passed, and we will wait until next year's winter solstice. Let's save her life for an extra year. After speaking, he glanced at Sikong and then at the sword in his hand. Upon seeing this, Sikong immediately knelt down on the ground with a trembling voice and said, Please spare your life, it's all Sikong's fault. Sikong couldn't find the fairy on this year's winter solstice. After speaking, Sikong kept his head buried low, as if he was extremely afraid of the person in front of him. If he accidentally said something wrong, he would immediately lose his life. Xian Jun is always ruthless in his actions. Being able to make the other party die without leaving any survivors, being a weak and useless person is just a perfect protective shell for him to hide himself. However, besides fear, he felt more guilt in his heart. It will be another year before the plan of the Immortal Lord can be implemented, and the bitter Immortal Lord in this Immortal World will have to taste it for another year. The hatred that is as painful as bone and heart, the Immortal Lord will have to endure it for another year. They have been dormant for thousands of years, waiting too long for the arrival of that day. Looking at Sikong, who was afraid and guilty, 
Yu Yinshi took a deep breath and raised his hand to help him up. Yun Danfeng said calmly, no problem, it's only a year. Let this brilliant and dazzling shell of the immortal world exist for another year, after all, the immortal world will never exist again in one year. Sikong finally breathed a sigh of relief, but when he looked at Yu Yangxi again, he caught a hint of a smile at the corner of his mouth. Sikong was somewhat surprised. Xian Jun used to be the least fond of laughter, but today it is not the first time. Xian Jun, what joyful thing has come to mind? Sikong couldn't think much, and the faint smile on the immortal lord's face had already disappeared. How is Tian Xian compared to Qiyu? Yu Yinshi continued to look at the sword in Sikong's hand and asked. The Lingran fairy, who is the most useless material in the immortal world, has returned with the ancient first divine sword, the red feather sword. There are some things that must be guarded against and considered in advance. After thinking for a moment, Sikong asked, Do you want to tell the truth? As an ancient divine sword, Tian Xian sword is made of ancient divine wood and infused with sandalwood fragrance, mainly aimed at calming the mind. On the surface, it may seem like an ordinary wooden sword, but if you think it's really just an ordinary wooden sword, then you're wrong. The heavenly sword can slay 100,000 heavenly soldiers with one sword, with a wide range of damage and strong destructive power. Since the red feather sword disappeared with the god of war 10,000 years ago, Tian Xian sword has been revered as the first divine sword in the six realms. However, everyone in the six realms believe that the heavenly sword should be sealed at the end of the wilderness in the endless North Sea at this time. However, it had already hidden the spiritual energy in appearance of the divine sword thousands of years ago, guarding the side of Yuyun Creek. Yu Yinshi glared at Sikong and said, What do you think? Sikong pursed his lips and said, It's not comparable. Upon hearing this, Yu Yinshi leaned his forehead and let out a deep sigh. Sikong looked at him like this and thought to himself, Xian Jun, do you think that Tian Xian is not as sad as Qiyu? Just listen, Yu Yinshi calmly said, then take her sword. Sikong said, yes, just leave this matter to Sikong. Ling Ran Fairy will become the crown princess in two days, and the immortal lord must not act rashly. If the heavenly water palace sees any clues, the one in the heavenly palace will also doubt you. Yu Yinshi nodded slightly, pondered for a moment, and impatiently whispered, I understand. Sikong is right. He has been dormant for many years, so we must not lose sight of the big for the small. However, he couldn't stay any longer in this fairy world. If he had exposed his identity before the plan succeeded, then it would be better to see who was crazier than those in the fairy world. On the other side, the grey fairy Gu Ling Ran has arrived at the palace where the emperor, who is in charge of the immortal realm, is located. The divine realm is still in the Tian Ke Palace, a temple left over during the period. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Being a good person, proud what's wrong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Being a good person, proud what's wrong Emperor Zhuanzheng sat solemnly on the divine chair in the temple, unsure whether to say it was coincidental or not, and Yu Xingling was also present. Gu Lingran said, dot. In front of the parties involved, would it not be good to terminate their marriage? How about? Getting closer. Gu Lingran approached and saw that he was indeed the same as the crown prince in his memory. However, in terms of appearance alone, he was still slightly inferior to the disabled second prince Yunxi Xianjun. Turning back to store space and taking it back to the apocalypse, let him become a gardener in the garden. The withering and withering flowers in the garden should be paired with some bright colors. His red flowers and green leaves outfit are very suitable. By the way, what is he? I remember, his true body is just like Emperor Zun's lotus. Emperor Zun Empress is pregnant with three sons, with one lotus and two fish in her true body. Her second and third highnesses both have koi in their true bodies, except for the colorful lotus flower Yu Xingling the crown prince's heir. Gu Lingren's lips curved into a satisfied smile, which was more suitable for her garden. 
From time to time, she lightly patted her waist and thought to herself, it seems that this trip is destined to be full of rewards. She was pondering when an arrogant voice sounded in her ear, with a hint of surprise. You. Spiritually. You're not dead. Not dead. Gu Ling Ran raised his suspicious eyes and scrutinized the man in front of him. Did he know that she had already died, or was he present when she died? Or Gu Ling Ran pondered for a few seconds, perhaps he was the culprit. Thinking of this, Gu Ling Ran looked down at him with a cold expression and asked, Why, does Xingling Immortal want me to die? Yu Xingling remained motionless, his eyes occasionally dazed. The Ling Ran in front of him was not the same as before. The former Ling Ran treated him with care and tenderness, and would never speak to him in such a tone. However, the Ling Ran in front of him made him feel a little scared. Seeing him like this, Gu Ling Ran withdrew his disdainful gaze and temporarily ruled out the possibility that he was the murderer, as there was no hatred in his eyes. If he were the murderer, watching her come back alive, he would probably hate her for being still alive, and his eyes were only filled with surprise and fear when facing her with different attitudes. After a while, Yu Xingling, who was in a stable and positive mood, finally spoke up and said, Ling Ran, how could I hope you died? It's just that you've been missing for three months, and the heavenly soldier has searched all six realms but hasn't found your whereabouts. We all thought. Gu Ling Ran sneered, have you really searched for me in all six realms? Everyone knows that the orphan of the god of war is a useless person without spiritual roots. Being able to win the favor of the emperor and the empress dowager and make a marriage agreement with the crown prince is only for the sake of the glorious war achievements and face of the former god of war. Looking at the entire immortal world, there are actually not many people who truly treat the spirit fairy. Everyone thinks that she is not worthy of her position and does not deserve to marry Yu Xingling. Even the emperor himself, who had made this engagement, strongly opposed it at the beginning. However, in the end, he did not resist the Empress Dowager's argument for the withdrawal of the entire Shue tribe from the immortal world, and only then did he compromise. Fiancé A. Yu Xingling often hits her because she doesn't have a spiritual root, telling her not to waste her time on cultivation and to honestly educate her husband and children after getting married. In front of her, Yu Xingling hesitated and said, Of course, it's true. Gu Lingren's lips curved into a sneer, as she didn't want to expose his lies. After all, when a man's lies are exposed, he will only become furious and will not admit them. At that time, Emperor Zun on the divine chair, probably sensing the tense atmosphere at present, spoke slowly and solemnly, All right, since you have safely returned from Ranner, don't have any more meaningless arguments with Linger. As he spoke, Emperor Zun's gaze focused on the golden sword on Gu Lingren's back. Ranner, what is that sword on your back? The girl lowered her eyes, and suddenly a layer of frost appeared on the bottom of her eyes, even colder than the coldness of this deep winter. Gu Ling Ran thought to himself, you are truly the most like father and son. A fiancé A.E. who lost her is full of lies, and a prospective daughter in law who has gone through all the hardships in the past three months is a golden sword that is irrelevant. Gu Ling Ran frowned. Is there anything unusual about this sword? Suddenly, she was completely aroused. I remember, just now, those two on the moon whispered to him, calling it the Red Feather Sword. The first divine sword in the six realms, the Red Feather Sword. Lie down. What kind of luck has this been? From time to time, Gu Ling Ran raised his eyes, curved them and smiled, then returned to Emperor Zun and said, the first divine sword in the six realms, the red feather sword, has Emperor Zun not seen it. Be a good person, be proud. What's wrong? Besides, she is still a little fairy now. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 I want to divorce. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 I want to divorce Emperor Zun. Dot. Emperor Zun remained silent. He had naturally seen things from the god of war, 
but this divine sword had disappeared for thousands of years and now it had fallen into the hands of the useless daughter of the god of war. He had never expected it. What a waste! Emperor Zun stared at the red feather sword with a serious expression, thinking that this sword would be more suitable for him. The girl tilted her little head and looked at Emperor Zun's gaze, quickly realizing that he wanted her sword. As a reasonable fairy, of course she would it's better to start first. The sword spirit of this sword has already recognized me as its master. Gu Lingran squinted his eyes like a little white rabbit and spoke softly in front of Emperor Zun, once the sword spirit recognizes its master, it will not change hands unless the master dies. That is to say, I am now the owner of this sword, and now I have crookedly inherited my father's sword during his lifetime. I believe Emperor Zun will also be happy for me. Emperor Zun. Dot. Emperor Zun was once again dumbfounded, and his peaceful expression suddenly changed somewhat reluctantly. When did this useless piece of wood become so eloquent? It's okay, it's all from his immortal realm, and she's going to marry his beloved son, so the divine sword will stay in her hands for the time being. Of course, I'm very happy for you, Emperor Zun smiled perfunctorily and quickly changed the topic. By the way, two days from now will be your wedding day with Ling Er. Everything at the wedding is as usual. If you have anything else to want, just tell me, and we will be a family from now on. Gu Lingran shrugged and nodded, it's true. At this moment, Yu Xingling interjected with disdain, if you have anything you want, just tell me. Why bother your father? Gu Lingran gave him a white glance and smashed his mouth, saying, what I want, you can't be the master, you don't have that ability. Yu Xingling choked with anger and said, you. He is the crown prince of the ethereal realm, with one person below and ten thousand above, yet his abilities have been questioned by this useless material who doesn't even have a spiritual root. He looked at her arrogantly, not knowing why the empress mother insisted on choosing her as her daughter. In law, despite her father's opposition, it's really annoying to take one more look. Oh, let's hear it. Emperor Zun's expression seemed calm, but in fact, he was defending his son. He wanted to hear what a big face this useless person had. He was not satisfied with marrying the crown prince and wanted to covet something from the immortal family, even the crown prince couldn't be the master. Looking back, it's also good to say that Empress Dowager, who must be made of this useless material as his daughter. In law, should see what kind of person she has chosen. Not only is her talent inferior, but her character is also inferior. At that time, Gu Lingran spoke firmly and calmly, I want to get married. Emperor Zun. Dot. Yu Xingling. Dot. For a moment, both father and son were stunned. Who would have thought that what she wanted was a divorce, and indeed. Yu Xingling couldn't control it. No problem. But marrying the crown prince of the immortal realm and sitting in the position of queen of God in the future is a dream that many people in the six realms cannot dream of. Yu Xingling looked puzzled and said, Ling Ran, are you crazy? You've been missing for three months, and someone stole your brain. Gu Ling Ran sneered at the corner of his mouth in disdain and didn't bother to pay attention to him. He continued to look at Emperor Zun and said, please allow Emperor Zun. Is this waste material really coming? Yu Xingling looked incredulous. Emperor Zun was equally surprised, but his expression remained calm. In response to Gu Lingran's request, he answered decisively, No way. Gu Lingran didn't give in and spoke slowly, This is not a request, it's a notice. Of course, Emperor Zun would not back down. My son will soon marry you, and the wedding stickers have been delivered to various parts of the Six Realms several months ago. Now that you want to withdraw, where are you going to bring me the reputation and authority of the Immortal Realm? You disappeared for three months, and I did not blame you. I have also thought that if you really do not come back, I will inform the Six Realms that you have died and the marriage will be abandoned. But now that you have returned, you cannot help but disagree with this marriage. Ling Ran, don't act around anymore. 
Yu Xingling also looked at her with a cold expression at this moment. I admit that I don't like you. My attitude makes you lose hope. If you want to let go of me, you also want to let go of yourself who loves me deeply. But our engagement was made since you were born, and this is your destiny. You have no choice, dot. Gu Lingran twitched at the corner of his mouth, unable to hide the disgust in his eyes. Pushin. As long as you abide by women's laws, be obedient and obedient, I will respect you like a guest in the future. Gu Lingran snorted coldly and said, Have you ever thought that I don't like you? End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Double beep, I'll fork you away with a forklift. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Double beep, I'll fork you away with a forklift, you Xingling. Dot. Ling Ran, do you want to listen to what you're saying on your own? I really don't know where the courage came from with this waste material. Gu Ling Ran became a bit impatient and gave him a blank glance. If it's any longer, I'll fork you away with a forklift. Unwilling to pay attention to him, Gu Ling Ran then looked at Emperor Zun and arched his hand, saying, Emperor Zun, calm down. It's because Ranner didn't consider it carefully, but he can't compromise on emotions. Upon hearing this, Yu Xingling coldly shook his sleeve with a very arrogant expression. In the end, this useless person didn't have to admit it yet. She went crazy because she couldn't win his heart because she loved him deeply. I see, Gu Lingren's gaze was firm and his tone was unquestionable. Emperor, I have someone I like, but not His Highness Xingling. I can get married in two days, but my husband needs to be the person I like. Since we cannot withdraw, let's modify the engagement. Find a husband who can protect her innocence without hindering her investigation of the murderer. As for this candidate, Gu Lingran, who had more thoughts than Honeycomb Cole, raised his lips and had already thought about it on the way. The emperor on the divine chair now had a somewhat unpleasant expression on his face. Absurd. The entire six realms know that in two days, you will marry the son of Emperor Zunwu of the immortal realm. Changing people temporarily is not just a joke for the six realms to see me. Besides, can there be a better man than Ling Er in this heaven and earth? Gu Ling Ran could see that if Emperor Zun was not Emperor Zun and there was no need for Gu Xianli and Xianda, the next second might be to scold her for not knowing what to do. Suddenly, Gu Ling Ran took a half step back and in a second, he changed his expression from innocent and aggrieved to that of the little white rabbit. Emperor Zun is so fierce, you scared Ranner. As for this marriage, why don't you listen carefully to Ranner first? I will personally inform the guests from the six realms during the wedding banquet. A few months ago, I changed my husband's name for personal gain, and the wedding stickers I posted didn't have time to change their names. Perhaps because she didn't react, Emperor Zun didn't interrupt her. The little fairy tilted her little head, blinked her eyes, and continued with a shallow smile, besides, I still marry Emperor Zun your son. Emperor Zun doesn't want to make things difficult for you, and Emperor Zun is not considered to have violated the marriage agreement she made earlier. This way, not only will no one laugh at Emperor Zun you, but I believe they will also praise Emperor Zun's generosity and generosity. It has to be said that Emperor Zun felt that this little useless woman's statement made some sense, and that she wanted to change her husband herself, just like his wish of not wanting her to become the crown princess for thousands of years. Prince Yu Xingling, but his most beloved son, none of them. But who did she just say she wanted to marry? It's still his son, so before Emperor Zun could speak, Yu Xingling beside him exploded. Are you interested in my third brother Yuabai? Do you think he is better than me? How could he be convinced that he had lost to the idle playboy immortal lord in the heart of this useless person? At that time, on the divine chair. As Yu Xingling thought, Emperor Zun also believed that Gu Lingran was interested in Yu Yuabai. Emperor Zun hesitated a bit, but he had already planned to agree in his heart. After all, the matter of the fairy princess being no longer a waste material is enough for him to be happy for several days. I see, Gu Lingran smiled and squinted his eyes, 
then shook his head slightly and responded to the fried Silian, it's not the moon white immortal lord, but the Yinshi immortal lord, the second brother of Xingling immortal lord. This sentence struck Yu Xingling like a thunderbolt on a sunny day. This scrap material actually likes a disabled person, doesn't it like him? Emperor Zun also felt a bit confused. Did he hear this? Wrong. Without giving the two a chance to calm down, Gu Lingran continued, I really like him so much. I love him so much that I don't think about tea or food, can't sleep at night, and can't sleep peacefully. Not seeing him for a day is like three autumns apart. He is truly the most perfect man I have ever seen in this world. For thousands of years, I have always kept a secret in my heart, and that is to marry the Yunshi immortal lord. After speaking, the girl couldn't help but feel nauseous, this is probably love brain. Returning to the end of the world, she had to suggest that medical insurance include the romantic brain in major illness insurance. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Oh. So exciting, who is so unlucky? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Oh. So exciting, who is so unlucky at this point, Yu Xingling's mentality has completely collapsed. He said angrily, no way. I don't agree. This damn desire for victory. It doesn't matter whether he likes Ling Ran Fairy now, what's important is that he was abandoned by Ling Ran because of the disability in Yunshi. He can't afford to lose that person. On the surface, Gu Ling Ran pinched his soft and cute voice and looked at him with an apologetic expression. I'm sorry, Xingling Xianjun. It's all my fault, and I will definitely bless you by Yunshi Xianjun's side in the future. In fact, Gu Ling Ran cursed inwardly. If you don't agree with a hammer, it's not up to you to disagree. Of course, Yu Xingling is not so easily evaded. As long as Emperor Zun does not let go, she will still be his unmarried crown princess. Yu Xingling. Father, you must not. Before he could finish speaking, Emperor Zun's face showed a kind smile, overflowing with joy, and he said, as Emperor Zun, I don't think I'm so unreasonable. Since your attitude is so firm, then Emperor Zun has approved of this matter. This useless material can finally avoid marrying his beloved heir, so why should he hesitate? Just thinking about it makes him feel relaxed, and this is truly the most joyful thing for him in ten thousand years. Thank you, Emperor. Gu Ling Ran arched his hand and narrowed his eyes into small crescents. Sure enough, exchanging Yu Yunshi for Yu Xingling is a secure deal for Emperor Zun, and he cannot disagree. However, Yu Xingling was in chaos and strongly opposed it, saying, Father. Marriage is not a big deal to be played with. Such a minor would become a joke for the entire six realms. Who can't do it? Unfortunately, it's that useless person from Yinshi. In front of him, Gu Lingran silently cast a sympathetic gaze at the disorderly crown prince and said, Oh, that's it. Tang Tang crown prince was actually abandoned, with a disabled immortal as his opponent. As for this matter, it does sound like the crown prince is even more miserable. It really saddens those who hear it, and tears flow as they listen. From time to time, Gu Ling Ran took a deep breath, his eyes flickered, and he thought to himself, but. It's not right if you affect my mood. So shut up quickly, don't force me to slap you when I'm happiest. However, before Gu Ling Ran could fan him, Emperor Zun quickly spoke up. Ran Air, please step down first. I have something I want to say to Ling Air alone, Emperor Zun said with a friendly expression. The wedding will be held as scheduled in two days, and I will send someone from Yinshi to inform you. Okay, Emperor Zun. Looking at Emperor Zun's eagerness to get married quickly and fearing that she would regret changing her mind, Gu Ling Ran naturally obediently stepped down. Of course, she wouldn't really fan Yu Xingling either. Nowadays, she is the most gentle, considerate, cute, and reasonable little fairy in the fairy world. At least, you can't fan in front of someone else's father, right? The girl lifted her lips and felt happy, 
carrying her small hands on her back and stepping lightly as she left the Tianke Palace. However, soon the corner of the girl's mouth fell down and she fell into deep thought. Emperor Zun never wanted her to marry Yu Xinling before. Can the culprit be Emperor Zun? I'm not sure, there's no clue, let's take a look. On the other side, the news of Ling Ran Fairy changing her husband quickly spread to the upper part of the month. Sikong's face was full of fear and he said, Xian Jun, do you know that today, after Ling Ran Fairy left from Yuashao, she went directly to Tianke Palace. Yu Yinshi paid no attention and said, how could I know? Sikong took a deep breath and continued, Ling Ran Fairy withdrew from Xingling Fairy's marriage and changed her husband who will marry her in two days. Emperor Zun also agreed. The frail immortal was watering the flowers, and his eyes slightly lifted in a lazy tone, saying, Oh! It's so exciting, who's so unlucky? Yu Xingling has never had a big heart. Who has the courage to snatch his fiancée A.E. and make him lose face? In the future, that person's life may become increasingly difficult. Sikong pursed his lips and said, It's you, immortal lord. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Hmm. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Hmm. The hand watering the flowers in Yuyun Creek trembled and froze. Stimulation, I curse myself. She's really crazy, he regained his senses, his thin and cold lips curled up with a cold smile. Both right and wrong, with unknown joys and sorrows. The girl who broke her brain, what medicine is being sold in the gourd? Empress Dowager Chu shouldn't be my disabled wife. Has she already guessed my plan? No, just in case, I need to make sure people know the reason first. Suddenly, Yu Yinshi gathered his cloak and looked at Sikong, saying, Go and find out why she changed her husband temporarily. It's impossible, you just like me. I heard it's because I like you, immortal lord. Sikong told the young immortal lord the gossip he heard, it said that the fairy is in front of the emperor and Xingling immortal lord in the Tianke palace, using death to force you not to marry. The corner of the young immortal's mouth twitched and he said, dot. She likes me, thinks she's pushing me, and doesn't marry unless I do. This sounds more like a dream than being drunk after eating. For thousands of years in the immortal world, the intersection between me and her may not exceed ten sentences in total. Yu Yunshi sighed and said, it's too absurd. Yeah, it's ridiculous, Sikong said from the bottom of his heart. How could anyone let the crown prince dislike him and like a man with weak legs? He knows how to follow the conversation. Yu Yinshi gave a stern look and said, Hmm. Sikong immediately stood straight and said, It must be true love. The poor fairy servant pursed his lips. Why is the fairy king still holding double standards? He even said it was absurd. Xian Jun's heart, the needle of the sea. Without waiting for the two of them to say more, the emperor's decree was quickly sent to deliver the lunar calendar. The immortal attendant who recited the imperial decree did not even hand it over to Yu Yunshi, but simply placed it on the nearby stone table and left with a high head. Even a little fairy from the mere Tianke palace does not welcome him so much. Emperor Zun doesn't respect immortal lord too much. It's just a matter of sending an immortal to convey the will, and his attitude is so arrogant. Sikong was very angry and said, Moreover, Emperor Zun shouldn't ask Immortal Lord if you agree or not. Sikong will go find Emperor Zun and help Immortal Lord negotiate with him. Come back, Yu Yinshi said lightly. Sikong's replacement of the Immortal Lord is not worth it. Immortal Lord. Although he may not be favored, he is at least the third prince of the Immortal Realm in name. Does even marriage matters have to be manipulated by people? Even though I know that the weakness of the immortal lord is just a disguise, encountering all kinds of things is truly heartbreaking. In front of me, Yu Yunshi slowly breathed a sigh of relief and said lightly, It's okay, I've been used to it for a long time. The entire immortal world will soon be destroyed, and the mere emperor will certainly be among them. 
It is not important to be favored or treated, compared to the hatred that has been suppressed in the heart for thousands of years. The frail boy turned the immortal chair expressionlessly, his bloodless face facing the wind and frost, and his demon-like amber eyes gave off a hint of playfulness. Crazy and Evil Two days later, earlier in the month, at the wedding banquet of Xingling Xianjun, the heir of the immortal realm, and Ling Ran Xianzi, the orphan of the war god, the people of the six realms looked at the groom Guan Yin Shi Xianjun sitting on the immortal chair, with questions all over their heads. The Ling Ran fairy publicly announced that it was because the person she truly liked had always been the Yin Shi immortal. She then mustered the courage to temporarily request the emperor to change her husband, and everyone's doubts gradually dissipated. Just, the voices of discussion followed one after another. Truly worthy of being the emperor of the immortal realm, tolerant and compassionate, blessed by the six realms. Ah, this. But if the god of war were still alive, he might feel heartbroken. Ling Ran Fairy is truly brave, not greedy for power, and devoted only to true love, which is admirable. Laughing to death, the weak chicken is a perfect match for the disabled. If I had known that the groom was not the crown prince, I wouldn't have attended this wedding banquet. It is not a wedding banquet that is valued by the immortal world. The groom is not the crown prince of the immortal world, and the emperor did not attend due to busy official duties. Many people were too lazy to even give face and hastily left before the banquet ended. The young immortal drank comfortably, but he seemed completely indifferent. It was getting dark quickly, and when all the guests had dispersed, the young man stood up and prepared to leave. As for the Ling Ran Fairy, it is a custom in the immortal world to sit elegantly in the sleeping hall of Yuyun Creek, wearing a phoenix crown and a veil, before her husband returns after the banquet. Xiao Qing, the young immortal returned from the banquet, followed closely by the immortal attendant Sikong. The red spirit guarding the door, seeing the return of Yu Yunxi, shouted anxiously at the door, I've seen the immortal lord before. You've come back so early. The young immortal lifted his eyes slightly, with a hint of doubt in his eyes. Why doesn't this divine sword spirit, transformed into a human form, look very intelligent? So is Sikong. Immediately, he simply pushed open the door. And then he fell silent. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Actually, there's a little more. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Actually, there's a little more Gu Lingran, who couldn't hide all the food on the table in the space, raised her eyes slightly and smiled awkwardly at Yu Yinchi, saying, Husband, you're back. At the door, the silent young immortal couldn't adapt to the title of husband. You should call me Yunshi, Yu Yunshi said in a low voice, staring at half the food on the table. What is the fairy doing? Gu Ling Ran took a deep breath and then waved frantically at them, hm, let's eat. Come on, come over quickly, let's eat together. Since we can't hide it anymore, let's just have a showdown. Yu Yunshi. Dot. The Ling Ran fairy in the past was the most knowledgeable in etiquette, but now what kind of evil has fallen on this one in front of me? The young man lowered his eyes and couldn't help but tilt his lips slightly. His oily little hands were truly detestable. The disdainful gaze was just caught by Gu Ling Ran. She secretly rejoiced in her heart and behaved very well. She was right to dislike me, so as not to accidentally develop feelings for me. How can I be responsible for you? The frail young man in front of him fell silent for a moment, hesitating to say anything. Where did you get all this food from? Why does it look so familiar, like the food at the banquet just now? Did she pack the leftovers back to the beginning of the month? Yu Yunxi felt even more disgusted in his heart. Gu Ling Ran saw the deepening disgust in his eyes and didn't hide it from him, saying, On my way back just now, I passed by the immortal kitchen. I was really hungry, so I set aside those people who were with me and brought some back, little by little. Is this called a little bit? Yu Yinshi looked at the half table of food and fell into deep thought. Behind me, Sikong also looked surprised. Ling Ran Fairy has a great appetite. 
Sikong turned his face to look at Qi Ling and asked in surprise, your fairy is not in the immortal realm in these three months. Has she not eaten a single grain of rice? How could she be so greedy? Red Spirit glared angrily at him and said softly, You don't mind the beauty's business. Si Kong. Dot. In the room, Gu Ling Ran looked at Yu Yinshi's disdainful gaze that couldn't be hidden in deep thought, and the corner of his mouth slightly curved with satisfaction. It should be like this, it's better to become increasingly disgusted with me. Gu Ling Ran thought to himself, if he knew that I still had half of the food in my pocket, he would go crazy. How could she be so bad? She is a considerate and kind fairy. So, Gu Ling Ran squinted and smiled, poked her little hand, and said, actually, there's a little more. She quietly moved the space behind her and, in front of him, took out plates after plates of food from behind, much more than what was originally on the table. A table can't fit at all, it stacked one layer after another. Yu Yunxi was stunned, took a deep breath before regaining consciousness, and tilted his head to look at Sikong in confusion. Eye contact. How did she do it? You go check, is the true body of the spirit fairy a squirrel? Sikong frowned, his eyes filled with clear foolishness. Is it possible that it was a hamster? Gu Ling Ran, who was born without spiritual roots, is still the only fairy in the immortal world who has not even known her true body for thousands of years. If it weren't for her being a war god orphan, she would have been driven out of the fairy world as a monster. However, in the ten thousand years since she was not driven out of the immortal world, her life has not been much better. Kindness and thoughtfulness are not exchanged for everyone's respect, but for time and time again bullying the weak. She is the crown princess, and everyone dare not openly bully her, so they secretly do various things to her. The days of isolating her and mocking her have never been missed. Speaking of which, she is no longer a crown princess, but has married the weakest and least favored disabled third prince in the immortal world. The future may be even more difficult. Yu Yunxi turned his head and looked at her with pitch black eyes. It was pitiful, so he would definitely isolate her like everyone else. After one year, it will become the part of his plan to sacrifice, and the people he killed with his own hands are nothing to be heartbroken about. End of this chapter